This video is going to be an unboxing video for the Thunderbolt version of the Blackmagic Design Intensity Shuttle. I wanted people to see the shipping box because it looks like it was custom made for the retail box. A lot of people know I have an Intensity Shuttle, but mine is the USB 3.0 version. I kind of wanted to get the Thunderbolt version for the last couple years since I got my Mac Mini, just to see if there was any difference between the two. I've already hooked this up to the Mac Mini and it seemed to work just fine, so I don't think I'll be doing any follow-up videos. That's not to say that in a year from now I wouldn't do another video about the Intensity Shuttle if I noticed a new feature about it or something like that. But here we see the retail box. I guess one could say it looks pretty nice. It's got information about the product itself. I know unboxing videos aren't the most exciting videos, but I know some people like to see them. They want to see what comes with the particular product. We can tell that the Intensity Shuttle is wrapped up pretty nice. There's a few pieces of literature in there. They're kind of a little bit hard to get out. It looked like there was more stuff in there than there actually was. That's why you see me kind of dig it in there a little bit more. And that's because the light's in front of me by three feet. When I tip it back, it's hard to see in there. It kept looking like there was more stuff in there than there actually was. But we get a simple, you know, welcome, you know, thank you for purchasing our product. That just says that there is no drivers. There's not an SD card or a CD-ROM because they want you to go to the website, download the drivers. They want to be more environmentally friendly. I'm sure some of you noticed you get Blackmagic Design stickers, and there was a card there that says you can download Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve for free. Anybody can download DaVinci Resolve for free. With this particular product, they're not giving you a free download to the paid version. If you buy one of the Blackmagic Design cameras, a lot of times those do come with the paid version of Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve. Here we get to see the product. You can see the input and output. It's identical. You have component, composite, S-video, and HDMI. It's just like the USB 3.0 version. You don't have to worry about the intensity shuttle sliding across your desktop or wherever you place it because the entire bottom is rubber padding. It stays exactly where you put it. I know some of you might be looking at the input and output options. And some of you might be thinking you can record VHS tapes with this particular product. That is not the case. You would need to have a TBC, otherwise known as a time-based corrector, in order to record old worn-out VHS tapes from 25, 30 years ago. Having said that, some of you may have VCRs or Hi8 cameras that have a TBC built in. If that's the case, then you could use this product. If you were given video that was interlaced, whether it's HDV video clips or clips from a high-end broadcast compliant camera from Sony or Panasonic, it looks a lot better to see interlaced video on broadcast compliant hardware than viewing it on your computer monitor. It's night and day. With Premiere Pro, I can create a 1080i sequence or an interlaced timeline, whichever you want to call it. I can drop in video clips that are interlaced. I can drop in video clips that are 24p, 30p, and even 60p. And Premiere Pro will output it to the Intensity Shuttle, and the end result will look silky smooth. I'm including this video clip so people can tell that the Intensity Shuttle can output to the old CRT monitors. You can use the Intensity Shuttle with Final Cut Pro 10 and DaVinci Resolve. But the end result is never as crisp and clean looking as when I use Premiere Pro. With Premiere Pro, I can also get this product to do things it really wasn't designed to do. I should say that this particular product can be used for game capture and for live streaming. I'm not saying it's the best option. I have videos where I do game capture using the Intensity Shuttle. I have videos where I'm using the Intensity Shuttle with Final Cut Pro 10 and DaVinci Resolve. When I did the unboxing of the Thunderbolt version of this product, you probably noticed it did not include a Thunderbolt cable. You can usually get a three foot cable for about $30, but if you want a six foot cable, you're probably gonna spend about $45. The USB 3 version of this product does include a USB 3.0 cable. 
I think the Intensity Shuttle is money well spent if you're using Premiere Pro. It is still handy to have if you have Blackmagic Design's DaVinci Resolve or if you have Apple's Final Cut Pro 10. It's better probably than just looking at the computer monitor if you're doing stuff for broadcast because you will have an accurate composition. The color space will be correct. I want to end this video by stating I went to DaVinci Resolve's website about two months ago and I noticed they don't have the Intensity Shuttle on their website anymore. I went to B&H Photo and for the past three weeks they don't have it in stock. I think this product is a discontinued item. I will try to provide a link to the Intensity Shuttle that I bought from Amazon.com, but I'm not sure they're going to have it in stock in another two or three weeks. I will also provide a link to the Thunderbolt cable that I purchased.